Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. We're back in the base, I've done a bit of looking around and uh, experimenting a bit with some stuff uh, off screen here. I'm going to move this thing over so I can actually uh, use it and then get out of my power armor because I was getting stuck in it when I was playing around before. But um, I think uh, first things first, yeah, let's, let's look at this here. So... We've got a couple pieces of armor that are busted. Uh, these two are totally busted too. I'm going to get rid of these. We're going we're to be doing some power armor crafting here, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and dump some points into blacksmithing. That way we can do some power armor crafting. So I think it's worth it. I think it's worth uh, the, the points. I think it's worth the effort and everything. Uh, knowing myself, I'll be able to see Empire Armor pretty much the entire time. I was looking at this, too. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's not as good as Laser Musket. Uh, this thing is the... It is the most efficient uh, in terms of firing shots, like, on, on fusion cells by far. It's extremely good. Uh, this is not bad, either. In fact, let me see how much ammo... So this is still very, very good ammo... Yeah, it's got a lot of ammo per uh, magazine, which is nice. So the standard submachine gun is still very good. And it does damage pretty close to what you'd see on the other ones. And I'm pretty sure this uses the pistol rounds. So if I swap here with this, yeah, we can do 45 or 38. And it's currently it's semi-auto. Let's change it to be auto. Should be full auto now. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, might use this for a bit because it's pretty cheap ammo and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, um, I want to go to armor crafting here. Not weapons and ammo, crap. Wrong thing. Well, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and upgrade. I can do a science upgrade now. I bought a couple of pieces of, uh, nuclear material items that we're on... Ooh, I can do a trading one too, huh? Well, that's not terribly expensive. I suppose we can do that. That's fine. Those are both automatic. Now you don't have to... You don't have to, um... worry about using them, I guess, which is nice. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's not what I was actually going for, but that's actually totally fine. Anything else I want here? I do want a set of welding supplies. I need at least one for the stuff I'm going to be crafting here in a second. Here's the only place I can get the carbon fiber right now is from trading, and it's a little bit expensive. I'm not really going to worry about that. I mean, it's not bad. You get 100, and that's enough for like 10 or 20, and you have a chance to get them back whenever you shoot them. So it's not that bad, but eh, it's not that worth it either. We're not going to have enough for Wilson, unfortunately. We don't even have enough for our resource station, actually, which is um, very unfortunate. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't know. Um, we'll have to get some more nuclear material, I guess. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the armor crafting, clothing and armor. And uh, we're going to look for power armor. Uh, we need a left arm. We have that T-51 right arm already, so let's do a left arm. Need a helmet. And both legs. And that should be everything we need. Now, thankfully, uh, you can still make these alley platings, but I don't think they're really required anymore. Um... At least not for this, because this seems to be a lot more intuitive now. So let's go ahead and equip our new stuff. There we go. It's our actual set. And uh, these come with standard steel plating on the front. So we'll go ahead and do some... I, let me see. Let me check the ER and DR on this before we actually do any more upgrades see what we're looking at here. We can get substantially more. I'm just curious how much uh, energy damage resist we have in it as is. So, so not great. So I do want to do some energy resist, I think. 
the damage resist is good, but I want to do some energy resist as well. So, okay, let's take a look here. So, aluminum is the uh, energy resistance one. And I think maybe on the arms is fine. I can't do these without more metalworking skill. I need, like, one more metalworking skill to do this. It's really disappointing, actually, that I can't do it yet, but, I mean, whatever. Because this will be, like, a whole extra layer of defense, like, a hundred more armor total. But whatever, it's fine. We can't do much of anything here. Reinforce would be way better for all these. That's going to be metalworking 80, though. This is very much a, um, upgrade over time type of thing. Do I want to do... Interesting, this is kind of a bug right here. It says support here, none, even though we have support here of steel. And it already has aluminum and fiberglass in it. So we, we actually got this one and it came with these things, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Or did it? No, it didn't. Never mind, I'm dumb. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so let's do aluminum there. That's fine. Can't do that. Can't do anything meaningful on that. That's fine. Let's upgrade this from rusted to be steel. I do want to focus more on um, steel than I do anything else. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with steel for the chest piece. Nothing else we can do there. Uh, the helmet steel's fine. Maybe do a bit more energy resist on here. And that's going to be all we can do here, I think. Corpse targeting HUD tactical. Okay, thank goodness. I'm so, I'm so, so happy. If I had nuclear material, I would do this right now. I would immediately put these on just so I could find my corpses. Although the reinforcement is way better, but there's no way. I'm definitely doing uh, the smart targeting HUD tactical, I think, while aiming. Targets are highlighted. Yeah, enemies are red. Friendlies are blue. Yeah, that's that's the way to go, man. Or maybe while crouching. I don't want to. I don't want to have to choose between crouching and seeing stuff and not though, right? Like, see, so yeah, we'll probably do this one. That way, I can turn off the. Uh, do we have a bright headlamp here? We do! Okay, let's make it bright. Oh, that's, that costs a bit more than I realized. You know what? It's, it's worth it. It's fine. It's gonna be bright. I'll be able to see stuff. You'll be able to see stuff. Everybody's happy. Okay, and then we have a couple more here to do. Uh, let's just go with steel for the legs, I think. I can't do anything here, right? I don't think I can, no. Yeah, so to do the... So, I mean, you need... You, you just need these parts to do the regular core steel parts, and then the, the alloy ones, which are the better ones, the really good ones, uh, you just need high grade. So I'm not sure what the low grade or medium grade versions of the alloy platings that we can craft are actually for. I don't know what they really do if they do anything at all. But okay, steal for that, and that's all we can do. I think we're good. Let's also go ahead and just scrap with our field kit the ruined pieces that we have. I'm not sure of a way to do this other than just, um... What do the notifications do? I don't even know. Um... I'm not sure of a way to do this other than just to use a field kit for it, so that's what we should do. And these are possibly good, so I'll keep them around. But yeah, these we're going to get rid of. That we can get rid of. Uh, I can probably get rid of that. And that's going to be it, I think. We're moving so slow because our legs are broken, if you remember, so have to fix that here pretty soon. Okay, let's dump, and uh, I don't think I'll use this for right now, even though it's, I mean, it's rather decent. I don't know, maybe I should. It is rather decent. Like, I can actually upgrade it too, if I remember correctly. Um, 
Let me check here. Oh, I thought I could. I guess I'd need more... Uh, more nuclear material. Yeah, okay, so... It is pretty decent. It'd be plus four... It'd be 28 damage, and then... If I were to change this over to, to heavy fusion cells... Okay, it's 60. I think that's what the uh, regular laser rifle will be at, is 60. But, again, the... The other one is um, so much better. If this is in good condition, it's 80 per shot. 20 more per shot seems... Just seems way better to me. Is this more range? It is more range. Oh, it's all my fiber optics, though. To do that extended long barrel. Kinda want to. No muzzle slot, that's fine. Because there's nothing, there's not, there's not like a, uh, there's no like silence mode for it. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we really care. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll leave it as is for now. I'll keep both of these around in case I want to use them, but I don't know that I actually will. Same, you know, like these, both of these two, I'm going to keep them around. Um, the pipe rifle, yeah, we keep that around too. We have some 30 we can use in it. This thing, I need guns I'm thinking of 80. It's not going to happen for a while. I could do a heavy frame receiver for this, and um, that's probably worth it. To get a bit more damage out of it. It's not very heavy on adhesive cost, and rifle weapon parts don't care too much. I mean, I do care about them, but it's not, it's not that big of a deal, which is worth it, in my opinion, to get that upgrade. Uh, long light barrel is the same. Already has fantastic range. The full stock is fine. I could do a large magazine instead. It requires eight adhesive, though. I'm not going to spend that much. I don't suppose the medium... Uh, medium is cheaper, but I just... It's a single shot weapon. I don't care that much about it. It's got a standard scope on it, right? Modular sight. Tech design. Variable zoom, this is the same thing though, yeah? Like, oh, it's just one requires guns, one requires science, so it's... Does it... Does it actually function like a, uh... Like that, though? Like, would I be able to mark people with it? I wonder. I'm really not sure. I have some 308 ammo on it, too. I can swap that in the field. But yeah, we have 556 and 308... I might have a couple of 4570. Oh wait, hold on. It shoots 4570 ECA electrically charged acid rounds. Partially bypasses defense and corrodes armor. Wow. So these are like uh armor piercing for 4570. That's interesting, but there's no regular 4570 option. Does 4570 not exist? Then? I don't know. Can't do any of these just yet. Okay, this is all probably fine. Wait, is this more damage? Does this do, like, actually more damage? Did I just screw myself over? This is 44 damage per shot on the 5.56. Has the hunting rifle been kind of... Is this, a, is this a bolt action? I don't... I'm not... I don't think it is. Yeah, to, this totally does more damage with 5.56, so... Why would I ever even bother using this? Just wasted some stuff on this, because... Well, it does have really good range. Does this have... Well, okay, so this has way more range. Okay, okay. I can... I guess I can see it. But, like, this is 39 damage. I mean, it's the same damage, right? Like, if I had this... Yeah, it'd be 44 damage, so it'd be the same thing. I mean, it's better range, I guess, is the thing. It's, like, double the range of this thing. 
But what if I put a better barrel on this? Oh, these actually don't really affect the range at all. Okay. Okay, so the only difference between the pipe rifle... Well, this has a different ammo set, too. I mean, this can use 30 rounds. It can use 5.56, five, and it can use 7.62. Whereas... This can use 308. But that's really interesting. This is like a semi-auto. Oh, it's a bolt action. Whereas this this is a semi-auto, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Yeah, I mean it's got the drum magazine and everything. It's, it's yeah, it's, I mean it's got the 50 round drum mag, so I could this is effectively, like, as good as a light machine gun, probably, then, yeah? With gunsmithing high enough? That's an interesting change. I do have to say, it's an interesting change. 24-round mag with the, um... Only one adhesive for the large magazine. You know... I think we'll go ahead and do that, because reloading can get you killed. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll use this for the 30 that we have, the 30 rounders, and then uh, we'll use it for the 5.56 five, in close quarters. This is going to be for long range sniping. Uh, this is to use up the remaining 9 mil that we have. Um, this will be for my pistol ammo. I can do a heavy frame receiver for this, and do I want to? We do have a lot of ammo for it, and it's, it's, I mean, 18 to, or 15 to 18 is a, a substantial increase. It's also got decent range on it already. Short light barrel, this is, um, reduced recoil, but I mean, it's not that amazing. I don't know, it's just okay. Full stock. Uh, it's Okay. I just don't know if it's worth wasting for adhesive. Probably not. I don't want to use all my adhesive. Put a muzzle brake on it too, but again, all the adhesive, I just, that's the problem. I don't have the adhesive. Does this require adhesive? It doesn't, but it does require, um, uh, nuclear material. Well, whatever. I'm going to do it because reflex sight is so much better. So yeah, this can use, okay, so this can use 38 and 45. This is like our pistol ammo weapon, I guess. Okay, that's really interesting that we've got, like, all these different weapons, and they, they're good for different things now. It's been changed quite a bit since uh, I last played, so good to know. I'm gonna store those for now. It's crazy, though, because I really want to carry... I mean, I guess I can because we're in power armor, but I want to carry all these, you know? Let's uh, go ahead and do some inventory management stuff here, I guess, then. Another problem is that I don't have enough nuclear material now uh, to build I'll give them the power armor here so I can actually move. Our legs are broken, but I don't want to heal them with the trauma kits until I sleep for the night because you get a bonus to healing whenever you sleep. And I don't know if that applies to trauma kits as well or if it's just... Uh, healing? I don't know. Move default items, it's fine. And the rest, I'll assume I can use for various things. You have to do dialogue for me, Mama Murphy. Take care of yourself, dear. I'm trying. Hey. You need the sight? It's telling me Mentats will give us... Here you go. Here you go. Ah, uh, that's it. I can feel the sight. Oh, you're looking for a man. Yep. He's somewhere deep and dark. Right. But there's an echo when you meet the fat man and the angry woman. <coughs> What'd you say? Tell them to oh, whatever. It, I, my, my character will remember it. I shouldn't have skipped that one. It's fine, though. Okay, that stuff is done. I think we can... Put the rest in here. 
So yeah, I'm good with this loadout. Let's dump the rest in. I need to figure out if I can make some purified water too, because we're not going to have enough. I used my one sanitized water. So yeah, we're not going to have enough to... Um, To hydrate ourselves, sorry, thinking. The awkward silence. Food on food we're okay on, but other stuff not so much. Okay, let me see what we're taking out then. So we're gonna take out 30 rounds, 308, 38, uh, 45, 10 mil, and 9 mil. Uh, 556. We don't need to scrap these just yet, so I won't. We do have quite a bit of fusion cells. I kind of want to wait to make these all into heavy fusion cells because we can only make the really crappy recipe right now. I don't really want to use it up if I don't have to. So I'm going to take the uh, full fusion core. I can always turn this into energy cells later on if I want to. Okay, I'm good with that loadout. Gonna keep the stealth boy in here because I might need to use it. Alright, and let's get out of here. See if we can make some sanitized water in the chem, st the chem station. No, not that. Not that. I meant to hit the other one. Yeah, over here. And we want... Uh, Chemo medical? Is that for... Well, I need... I need... Um... Oh, I'm one salt short. Are you serious? That's a pain. I need these anyway. Guess we'll do a couple of these. Some of those. Do one of those two. But we're out of everything. We're out of adhesive. Okay. Um. It's gonna be on the food bench for crafting. I don't know if I can make any sanitized water though. We may be going to Diamond City just to get some water. Maybe stealing from Shen. Although if it's if it's set so that you can't anymore. Like if it's set yeah, oh we need antiseptic and chlorine, yeah. Well That's very unfortunate. We're just gonna... I do have some mole rat stew, I guess. I have to... walk upstairs with my power armor because my legs are broken. How awful is that? I'm making my character... sleep when I have the means... to fix his broken legs. Making him sleep with his broken legs. Because... I might get a tiny bit more healing... Ah, uh, the trauma kits, if I use them. Hey, workshop rations. Thank you, game. I'll do it in the morning whenever I'm hungry. But yeah, oh, it's already 4 a.m., holy crap. I guess I was walking for longer than I thought, and doing crafting stuff for longer than I thought. It's already noon? My gosh. Okay. So yeah, we'll do workshop rations. Still very thirsty. That's not going to cut it. Uh, this does it for that, but I don't know what we're going to do. What I'm going to do the trauma kit. Well, I think we're okay to go ahead and do the trauma kit. Let's see how much this uses. Both of my legs are broken, so... It's still showing me with broken legs here. 
Okay, there we go. It's kicked in now. So I'm assuming it doesn't. What are we at now? Trauma kit? Wow, we used half of them. We actually needed that many. It's going to heal them over time. It's no longer, like, instant. Okay, I guess we use some rat away too. That was all of them. And then we need to use our first aid supplies to heal up. Probably use like five of them or so. Yeah, six. Okay. Okay, well, at least we're like in okay shape now. I mean, what do I what do I do? Do I just like go drink some water out of the river? I mean, we need to hydrate somehow. We're getting kind of screwed on hydration. Oh, I can't even drink out of the water. Like, you just literally can't. It's not even an option. You can't drink dirty water out of a carton anymore either, like, period. I guess I could do this. I have Nuka-Cola, I guess, I could use. Like, regular Nuka-Cola. That'd probably be fine. Almost forgot about that. Yeah, just regular Nuka-Cola is probably okay. Be like, you can't actually... This water is not ingested. Yeah, you cannot actually drink this anymore. Rations don't give hydration. Yeah, so I think we have to go with some uh, Nuka-Cola. I always sold it before, so I guess it's kind of good that it has a better purpose now. Okay, so it's minus 20 hydration. Yeah, so we got to do like three of those. They're using recipes later on, too. Wait, was that Nuka Cherry? Nuka Cherry is worth a bit more, so I'll use the Nuka Cola first. Okay, well, that's... there we go. We're good. That's kind of rough, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, it's, uh, Trash Can Carla. By the way... She has a new companion that is not a Brahmin, which is amazing, by the way. And it's named Oscar, which is hilarious. Because, you know, Sesame Street, that's kind of awesome. You can barter with him, too, though. It's like this, he, has, he has the same stuff, I think, as she does. Do you have any... Do you have any at all of... Um... It's got an advanced filter. Maybe I could use that. I don't know. Um, I do have stuff I can sell to her. Um, I want to get some chlorine or salt if she has any. I'm pretty sure I already bought the stuff that she had, though. This sells for a lot, so we'll go ahead and do that. This is all just stuff we can sell. I think pre-war money can be used for bartering, so we shouldn't use it for just selling to her, even though it's worth a little bit. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's all the same stuff. I'm like, 99% sure. Okay, do you have any... Anything with salt in it? Salt shaker? I don't think she does. I'm pretty sure I already got it if she did. Not worth it for one antiseptic, even though I'm kind of hard up for it right now. Okay, well, let's just sell some stuff then. That's worth 60. That's pretty good. These are three each? It's not bad at all. What about this? Okay. Well, this stuff seems to be worth a bit more now. It's like properly... That's about, all, about as good as I can do. Uh, okay, that's fine. Get some caps back. That's cool. Alright. 
I, I have a decent amount of carry weight now, so I'm not going to worry too much about the carry weight um, of carrying those couple items around. I'll just keep them on me. That way, if I need to use them, I can. All right, well, we are in dire, dire need of some nuclear material to progress ourselves. So... I'm going to head down south. I know there's a whole bunch of nuclear material. Well, not a whole bunch, but enough to get us, you know, in better shape than we are now. Which is going to be down at um, the shack way down south. I need to go down here anyway at some point. It's in that general direction. And it might be a bit of a uh, walk, so... I'll probably just head down that way and see you once we're there. You know, it occurred to me as I was walking over here, I don't know that I ever actually cleared out the uh, the cave here. Yeah, I certainly didn't because I would have picked this stuff up. Would have gotten all this stuff if I had been through here. So yeah, we'll, go, we'll do the Mole Rat Cave real quick over here by uh, Red Rocket. A nice bright headlamp. You gonna fight? Are you being territorial? Ooh, it's a mutant rabid mole rat. His pathing was so confused right there. Should be one more back there, right? Back this way. That's cheating. That was cheating, man. There's no animation in power armor. Doesn't matter that much, but just in case you're wondering. That's, uh... It'll come later on. Got it. Okay, I mean, look. Safes definitely have better loot. They seem to be, like, guaranteed to have a bit better, like, ammo and stuff in them now. And, like, more bottle caps. I'm really happy with that. Like, it, it always just felt like, oh boy, another save is gonna have, like nothing good in it anymore like shouldn't the containers you have to work for have a little bit better loot and now they do that pleases me even though I would say that on the whole this version of Horizon is definitely harder than the last one it's definitely more of a struggle to keep yourself hydrated and stuff than it was before Which, I'm not saying is a bad thing. I am on desolation mode after all. I did kind of bring this on myself, right? Probably is easier to craft water in the regular mode. A lot of the recipes change. Should be a busted fusion core over here too. Maybe we get some nuclear material from that. Ooh. That's the mutant one. Got a whole bunch of nice stuff. I guess I could have set off everything down here and watched them all blow up, but... Then the junk would have been shot everywhere and it would have been a mess and... You know... Way oh my god! They're even through the power armor, there's so well because it's not sealed. I, I keep I keep forgetting like it's it's not sealed this power armor right, and since it's not sealed, 
We take massive rad damage. We couldn't go in the water either. Really, without taking massive rad damage. Still sad I couldn't go and get that power armor. That was over by the uh, crashed vertebrate in the lake. Next to Lexington. Because, you know, I would have taken massive rad damage. I guess, you know, on our way here, there's stuff we haven't checked out either. Like, we haven't gone over to Wicked Shipping. There's a bunch of loot over there. Should be, well... It won't be guaranteed adhesive. There, there's a couple duct tape there, I think, which are guaranteed adhesives now, but the Wonder Glue is not guaranteed to be adhesive, which is very saddening. I suppose we can cut across uh, Abernathy's field here. There's a couple of uh, a couple of deer we can take out on the way. I don't know if I want to try to catch him like like, run him down in the power armor and smack him with a katana. That might be a bit excessive. At this point, we have a decent amount of ammo. Depends how tough they are, I guess. That one's an albino. If I can get some hidden shots here, that'd be great. It's not bad. Oh yeah, this boy. That's a big boy. We don't have these bound yet. Maybe we go ahead and... Let me check this. Let me see how much damage this will do to him. Oh, it's almost a one-shot kill with that. That's reasonable. Okay. He should yield pretty good loot as well. And then for the last one, we can swap over here. Oh, it's a yearling. Ah, come back here. Babies don't get any exceptions. I need the food. I'm sorry. We killed Bambi. Alright, what you got for me, albino? Give me something good. Yeah, just some scraps and one meat. I guess not really any better than anything else. All right, there's a raider over here too. Hey, dirty water that we can't drink. It's all ruined. Go ahead and scrap it. I do want to get some... I do want to get some... Uh... God, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. Okay, I totally forgot. Was, never mind. I don't know what I was going to say. It literally has escaped my brain. It's it's gone. It's 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 gone. Sorry, guys. Anyway, let's go to Wicked Shipping. Oh, there's some uh might be some stuff down around here. Sometimes a safe spawns down here. There's like a random event safe I think that spawns in this area. Or at least I could have sworn I saw a safe down here before in the past, somewhere along here, on the very lower edge of Abernathy's place. Also some random stuff we can harvest. I like the weapon diversity a lot in the New Horizon. There's a lot, there's like, there's a lot of, uh, it feels like he's done a good job of making every ammo type more useful, at least in the early game. I'm sure I'll get to the mid game and I'll just be like, oh, this is all crap, you know, and just scrap everything that's not like 556 or 762 or whatever, or 308. But in the early game here, everything feels very valid and useful. know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. 
you put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread. But it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. Hey there. Yes? Hey there. Yes? These guys are, I, I love these guys, even though they're like, there's, that's it. That's the whole encounter. That's, that's the whole thing. Just them talking about sandwiches. It's a great conversation. Apparently there's, there's some historical significance to that, I guess. Not sure what exactly. Have I, oh yeah, I went way further south than I needed to. That's, um, co-op over there. We need to go back up. Yeah, over, okay, over here is Wicked Chipping. Back up this way. I want to loot along the uh, water over here, too. There's some good stuff along there. Eat all these mute fruits and stuff. The blossoms are good, as well as the uh, wild mute fruits are good. We can turn them into real mute fruits. Is there stuff in here? No. Nah. I also think that, uh, I'm not positive, but I think power armor has been buffed a little bit in terms of once you invest into it. If you don't invest into it, it's like worthless. But if you do invest into it a bit, it's pretty good. I thought that was a headshot, but you know. Die already. My, I guess he was a high level one, but. Sheesh. Mmm, diseased meat, my favorite. I still. Dog meat is still MIA. I might have to summon him at some point. There's a way you can do that. Gary. Hey! Oh no, it's pepper mill. Dang it. I was so excited for some free salt. I guess I could lock this as opposed to opening it normally. That way we get some experience for it, yeah? That's it. Hmm, see? Oh, look at this. Got some ECA rounds for the sniper rifle. I already forgot what that stands for, but it's good. We're getting a lot a lot more fusion cells. I would definitely say that Zaw has made an effort to make energy weapons a bit more viable in the early game because you just didn't find hardly any previously, and it was it was kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely a raider I just heard. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it was just the radio. I thought it was a raider voice, though. Oh, no. Quiet radio. What Whatever. Oh, no, that's definitely a raider. Uh, okay. They do spawn over here sometimes. I gotta turn this radio off real quick before YouTube strikes my entire channel for one song. Gotta be around the corner. I see, I saw some movement back there. I'm gonna back off so I can get a sneak attack if I can. I'm too close to be stealthy in power armor. They're gonna notice me right away. Let me at least bind this thing. I'm not sure if I can get an angle over here. May have to go around the fence. Oh, come on, game. How the hell does that miss? C 
come on. That was bullshit and you know it, game. What the hell? These are right on perfect headshots and they're just like, nah, I don't think you hit that. People have sworn, like you watch those shots, those were perfect headshots and I don't think they clipped. I don't think that the texture on trees incurs that bad of clipping, okay? People tell me that the minus the minus 15% or whatever on horizon weapons does not mean less accuracy. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Cause you look at those shots. They were right on. I'm just saying. There we got him. There's one more though. I saw a second bit of movement over there. Yeah, we're getting detection here. Where's the corpse at though so we don't lose it? It's like in the weeds over here somewhere. Oh lord, I'll never find him. I don't think he was this far over. Wasn't he just over here? I might end up cheating myself in some, uh tactical vision, or at least corpse highlighting stuff, just so that I don't have to deal with this. And you guys don't have to deal with it so much. Nothing worse than getting a kill and you can't find the corpse, you know? Yeah, it was like right over here, I swear. That was my Discord. Someone's pinging me. Hopefully that's the, the last of the pings. Probably not, though. I always forget to turn it off. Well, I have no idea where he's at, so... Rest in peace, loot. Oh, is that him right there? He's all the way over here, huh? Didn't think he was that far. Think we can dump all this, yeah? Other guy probably went back to where he was. It is possible I clipped on this thing. I don't think like that's. Do you really think I would have clipped on that? That's the mo if that's what it was. That is the most egregious clipping issue I have ever seen that stump would be oh god they're gonna they're gonna ping over and over hold on let me turn off discord I'll be right back guys okay we're back should be good now I thought I, I'm in like a million servers and I thought I had all of them muted but I guess I had one not muted okay that's a, that's a horizon one just walk away where did the other guy go, though? I wanted the other kill, too. Well, whatever. He's gone now, I guess. Until he's not. Or maybe it's the ghoul that's giving me the, uh... Oh, my God. Maybe the raider left and left those as a surprise for me. Those were not bad headshots, if I do say so myself.
are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shut down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. Wicked shysty. A lot of flamer fuel too, which is good. We can convert that to liquid fuel to be used in our settlement, or actually use the flamer for once too. It's an option. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't mean to hit that. Do I hear... Super Mutant voices? I swear I did. The... Whatchamacall is turned off. The uh, radio is turned off, so... Unless there's a second one. The music almost makes me wish Fallout... or miss Fallout 76. Almost. I miss what Fallout 76 could have been. Because that's core, it wasn't a bad game, but... In my opinion, they have not lived up to what they could have done with that game. And apparently it has like 10 million active players, so I mean, it's not like it wasn't a successful game for them. Like, 10 million active players is friggin' huge. I guess that's what, hap that's what happens, though, whenever you're on console, too, right? You get into that console MMO market, and there's just nothing out there. There's, like, you know, three games for console, and that's it. Can't get into either... Can't get into that one, right? Okay, yeah. No, we, we're good. We can't get into that. And there's, uh... Reaver over here. That nah, should be about it, except for the robot. We'll get him out here. Why not? Free experience. Is this my first time hacking? Well, there's only so many here. Got it. Here we go. Powering up. Protectron on. Right, I need to get a nice one-shot kill on this guy from the back. Oh, that's not going to do it at all. <clears throat> well, would this do it? Not even remotely. What if I put 308 rounds in it? That Would that work? Maybe? Eh, not really. What about, um, what can I put in this thing? Maybe the 4570 rounds? Does that, does that go in here? No, just 556. Five, I mean, it might be, might be better to do the 556. Five, that way it's a semi auto on this, right? I'm totally not thinking about how to murder you, robot. Just go about your business. That might be the better option, to be entirely honest. 
No, I need you to keep looking away from me. I need you to keep, like, looking directly away from me. That way I can get a good shot. That's a cool... That's... The lighting here is nice. I'm gonna get a save. Just because I want to... I want to have the lighting here with that robot. I think it'll make a nice screenshot with the wicked shipping truck in the background. You just keep doing that, don't you? It's really... Okay, come back over here then. I'll snipe you from over here or something. If you walk in front over here. Maybe up here. That could work. Or perhaps... Oh, that sounds, that sounds like it would be bad. Not sure about chucking this thing either. <clears throat> Seems like a bad time. <laughs> okay, okay, he's right there. Okay, we got him. That's over time, so we're just going to let it burn. Aging hostile target. Robots are kind of scary now. Maybe I should use the the laser musket, huh? <clears throat> Maybe just go into caution here too. Attempt to play. You will be identified and sanctioned. Violence will not be tolerated. Good lord. Oh, he missed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, he really hurts a lot. I had a fragment I could have used on him. So you know what? He does path up here, so there we go. That might work. Ha! Kill. Didn't even kill him. Kill. Violence. Kill. Are you nearly dead? Stop clipping on that. Oh my god, please die. How is that clipping? Jeez, Louise, die already! You better give some good stuff, robot. Nine items high harvested. Okay, well, uh, guess what, guys? It was worth it. Five nuclear material, but holy crap, he was tough to take down. Robots have been buffed a lot, but they're also worth a lot when you harvest them. All right, good to know. We're learning things, but now I have to use some first aid supplies. Good thing I have a bunch of them. Yeah, my next uh, wish list would be for, like, having bandages or something. Like a bandage animation or something whenever you're doing that. That'd be amazing. I know there's stuff that's similar, but, like, it's not compatible with Horizon, so... Or it changes the balance significantly, and I don't want to do that, really, so... Okay. Well. That was a fun one. Let's head south. Did we miss, uh, 
Wait, Gorski's is like over here, isn't it? It's like next to Starlight Drive, and it's not even like in this way. It's like it's like this way. We gotta, we just gotta follow the power lines, right? The the power. You follow the power. Well, you follow the power. Um, the big power. Yeah, these things. All the way from Abernathy's, right? That's what you do. So you just follow those. Of course, though, I get this freaking awful fog. Should probably swap my weapons back to be like usable ammo now, yeah? I mean, I have 308 ammo I could use for this. I guess we'll keep it at that for now. It's fine. Yeah, we're looking for Gorski's cabin. Oh, there, here's a lake. Is this where you can go? I'm pretty sure you can go down inside here. This is where the gift shop... No, never mind. This, this is just... I can't even tell because the weather is so foggy now. Hmm. No, it's just a lake, the normal lake. I'm thinking of somewhere else. That's okay, we meant to go here anyway. Come on. Well, kinda. I need to go to Gorski's cabin, which is more, I believe, towards Starlight Drive. And I don't know, it's been a while since I really played through Fallout 4, so I'm not as knowledgeable as I once was. Anymore. You know, there are rads over here, and I don't want to go near them because they're going to light me up. I don't have the rad protection that I would normally have here. And there's a mole rat and a bloat fly over here, I think. Yeah, I'm not going over there. That's too much rads. Come on. Ooh, a whole bunch of them. All grouped up. That's how you cook your food. I am detecting presence oh boy. tracking your position. Just pre cooked them. I think I mostly just pissed him off, to be honest. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Remain calm. This is fine. He's armless, folks. He can still bite, though. Okay, we got him. Ooh, that was a lot. Cool. Good stuff, though. Now the meat smacking begins. Aw, oh, come on, game, really? It barely even. Uh, what do I have for infection? Do I have anything? 
Well, I guess we make the Curex, and that's pretty much all we can do. That's unfortunate. That's a really rare, expensive item. But I can't allow an infection to stay. It's unfortunate that we got that already. You know, I guess they do give you quite a bit of um, fertilizer, basically. We got all the dogs to get over there, too. She did say I'm tracking predators, but it was like right as I engaged the dogs, right after I threw the stinking Molotov. That's when I get in trouble. Yeah, the reds are a lot more dangerous now. I think that's all of them. Close enough. Then the dogs were, uh, have we gone too far? Yeah, it was over this way. Um. I've lost track of the dogs. Probably go ahead and use... I don't really want to use this. I guess I'll wait until I can make some more Rataway stuff. Okay. Yeah, we were fight. Yeah, over here. Here we go. There's our bloat fly too. I had zero hope of finding him again, but there he is. And we just left a trail of dogs up here. Uh-oh, it's not going through. Oh, it went through. Never mind, we're good. Well. That was a lot. I get you? Yeah, we're good. Okay, I guess I'll go around this side of the lake just so I've done it, and that way we don't have to worry about it anymore. It's a small building over here. There's no reason, by the way, to eject your fusion core early anymore. Uh, they're worth nothing to vendors. It was a really stupid micromanagement game to have to eject your fusion core before it ran out and then sell it to a vendor for like 10 caps. But some would always be like, oh, you could have ejected your fusion core, but I but like I refuse to do it because it was just so dumb of a little thing. It was like, yes, you could do it, but it's not immersive. It seemed dumb. I don't think we can go up there, that there's anything up here all the way up on the hill. It looks really cool, though, with the sun coming through the fog. And the tree up there. Looks nice. Some interesting weather. I don't know, though, now, because, like, Zawano has added some stuff around the map, and, like, I just don't know what I'm gonna find. Which is, like, it makes it more interesting. I mean, it's it's been pretty sparingly that he's added stuff, but... Just the fact that I know there's some stuff out there I could find... Maybe I'm the first to find it on, uh... My little video here. And how cool would that be, you know? Yeah, it just goes up in there, and there's nothing up there, I'm pretty sure. You can scrap that entire thing, too, I'm pretty sure. 
So yeah, Sunshine Tidings is right over here. What is, oh, is the radio here? Please don't blow up on me safe. Is this a new random event? It looks like it is. I don't recall ever seeing this before. Hey, I'll take it. That's a lot of free caps and uh, ammo. That's cool. Yes, more of those events, please. I wonder if that's a random event. Or was that always there and I just never found it before? It's possible either way, it really is. Okay, Sunshine Tidings. And also a Rad Roach or two. Please, no more infections. Actually, I think parasites would be worse. The intact carcass can sell for a bit, I think. You can also decorate your place with it. Maybe it makes, like, settlers happy now. That'd be kind of a cool perk to hunting. Or having a high hunting skill, anyway. There wasn't, like, much point to them before, other than just, like, selling them. Uh, it's ruined. 12 gauge base ruined. That's worth a bit. I keep getting asked if I'm going to return to uh, Dust, and the answer is yes, but stop asking me about it. Actually, you know what? Ask, ask me all you want. I'll just keep ignoring the, the comments that ask about it because it helps the algorithm. The more you comment, the more YouTube thinks my video is getting engagement. Um, but yes, the answer is yes, I will. But I've been waiting for Horizon 1.9. We've all been waiting for this for like three years, okay? So, just let me enjoy it a little bit. I might just uh, leave stuff here and then do a scrap all or a scrap station. I guess I should kill this guy, yeah, because he uh, he's going to drop a whole bunch of stuff. Can I self-destruct him? That'd be all right. Because uh, robots are worth a whole bunch now, so. Give me a reset. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, I can shut him down. Okay. Can make him a guard, too. Uh, let's just shut him down. I want his parts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Goodfeels, but you're worth a lot more in parts, my friend. And you're also very hard to kill. Holy cow, why are you so freaking tanky? Is that just all robots now, or just, like, that tanky? Do you have a combat... ...thing I could hit? Is, it, is that what this is right here? I'm gonna have to beat the devil out of this guy. He still is, like, not even... ...remotely... I guess I could... ...could get out and get some free...
Watch him blow up and I die instantly. It would serve me right. Okay, there we go. We're making progress. Making progress now. Is he immortal? Oh my god, he is. Stupid. Oh, that makes me upset. Now he's gonna be hostile too. Well, whatever. He's At least he's neutralized. He can't do anything about it. That kind of upsets me though. I can't scrap him for parts. Okay, let's clear the ghouls out here and get this place. Set up as our own. I don't have the materials to like actually expand to here yet, but... I might if I could kill this stupid robot. Yeah, I can't do this yet. There's still some... At least one ghoul in here. Maybe two more ghouls, one over there. Ooh, right through his face. That was, that was the Tyrion Lannister chop right there. That's what happened to Tyrion. Is that new? I don't recall like that kind of a slash appearing on a ghoul before. It's really cool if that is new. I don't... Like, if you hit him in the head, they just, like... Their head just chopped off, regardless of the angle that you cut or anything, you know? It's a bit different, though. If that's new to Horizon, I like it. Like, I'd very much like if the game had slash and gash marks that looked correct based upon your impact that'd be kind of amazing because you know you have like a downward chop and then their head gets chopped off sideways and looks kind of dumb that does happen nice all right guys well i think i'm gonna call it here this episode i'm gonna finish up here the next one but uh we're gonna call it good here for now did i just get a stim pack i think i did Pretty sure we just got a lucky stim pack. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.